So we gotta keep the Sabbath day. So the Sabbath day is Saturday. That's the law that we gotta keep. That's right. So now, give me numbers 15 and 38. Now let's get, I'm gonna show you another law we gotta keep. So we don't supposed to be in church on Sunday because a lot of people in church on Sunday, but God said, no, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. Right. Give me Numbers 15, 38. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. right? nope. Speak unto the children of Israel. So, what, so it says, speak unto the children of Israel. So what have you learned today about the Israelites? Who are the Israelites, Harvey? That's us. We're the Israelites. Read all That's praise. Right. And bid them. We command them that what? That they make them fringes. You see these things we got on our shirts, Harvey? We got this on all our clothes, not just our camp gear, but God say we were supposed to make, we got to make fringes on our garment when we know we're Israelites, because God requires something of us when we know we're Israelites. Don't just walk away Harvard knowing you're Israelite and don't do nothing about it, because guess what? The ways of sin is there. God say, you know what? The, uh, uh, in order for you to get the kingdom of heaven, guess what? You got to keep the commandment. So keeping the Sabbath, that's a commandment. Wearing that's fringes, right. read on. That's a commandment that we got to keep, read. That's right. That they make them fringes. Uh-huh, in the way. In the borders of their garments. In the borders of our garments, read. Throughout their generation. Throughout our generation, meaning as long as we generate Harvard, we got to put fringes on our shirts, read. And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we got to wear, we got to wear, the, we got to wear fringes and a ribbon of blue on our shirt. You ain't seen it before, have you? Because why this troop, our people, is, this troop is just starting to go throughout the earth like that's that. Right. Because in the last days, God said he's going to start waking us up. That's right. And we're going to start repenting. So so now you, you're seeing this now, but guess what? Eventually, you're going to start seeing this more and more because our people is waking up. That's right. right. That's right. What I read earlier, it's high time for our people to wake up and come out of the sins. And you didn't, God didn't allow you to walk over here for no reason. That's right. God allowed you to walk over here giving you a chance to repent. That's right. I'm, you, I'm going to give Harvard a chance to repent and get the kingdom because... Uh, if, uh, the ways of sin is what? Give me Romans 6 and 23. Romans 6 and 23. Because you know the ways of sin is, Harvey? Because if you work that job, you're expecting to get what? Paid. So if Harvey ain't keeping the laws, his payment going to be what? Read that. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is what? Is death. So if Harvey don't want to hurt into these laws, and understand that he is right he's the greatest man on the face of the earth his payment is going to be death because i just showed him I, I put the spirit in him to walk over here because you don't do stuff on your own free will god allowing you to do what you're doing you might think you're doing what you want to do but god harvey go over there listen to your brother yeah, this right. is your brother's bring this word out right. trying to save your life so they can show that you're an like that you got to repent so you can you want the kingdom of heaven harvey you want to get the kingdom of heaven right <laughs> give me matthew 19 and 16. Give me Matthew 19 and 16. Because do it, this is what Harvey got to do to get the kingdom. You ain't going to hear this in church. I'm all praise you don't go to church. Because you ain't going to hear this in the church because these nope. churches that they got set up is set up to put our people to sleep. Right. That's why God say a lot of our people going to get put to death when Christ return. Matthew 19 and 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Read on. And behold, one came and said uh -huh. to him, What's that? Good master. See? What good things shall I do? So one, a brother came to Christ and said, Good master. What good things should I do that I would? That I may have eternal life. So now he asking the same question that he's saying the same, he asking the same question that you were just making a statement on. You want to get the kingdom of heaven. So he asking that. How do I get the kingdom of heaven? Read. And he said unto him. He said unto him what? Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one. There is nobody good but one and that is who? That is God. So he was giving reverence to the most high God. His That's father. right. Read. Right. But if thou will enter into life. So he's telling us, so the same thing Christ telling him, we reading this telling you the same thing, uh, Harvey. If you want to get eternal life, Harvey, what, you, what Harvey got to do? Keep the commandment. You got to keep the commandment. That's what you got to do, Harvey. So you do pray? So I'm going to show you something about your, when you pray, Harvey. Read on. And seek my face. And seek my face. We got to learn to seek this Bible, Harvey, because a lot of us, we, we uh, love God, we believe in God, we believe in Christ, but we don't read the Bible like we're supposed to. Why? Right? Well, we don't know who we are. Right. So we, we, when we read it, we're looking at everybody as white. We think everybody Caucasian. Right. So that's a lot of time why people don't even read it, not knowing you know? everybody in the Bible is black. That's right. right. Everybody in the Bible looks just like us. Right. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Christ, Daniel. All the prophets look just like us. Bring it out. Read. And turn from their wicked ways. So we got to turn from our wicked ways. We got to humble ourselves and turn from the evil, the sin that we're in. We got to stop buying on the Sabbath. Stop breaking God's law. We can't work on the Sabbath. If you got a job, would it make you work on the Sabbath? Just find another job. Don't quit that job, but just find one where you can be up on the Sabbath. That's right. Now give me John 9, 31, because you say you pray a lot. 
say you pray or whatever. So now I'm gonna show you about prayer, cause in Christianity they have you, they have you believe you can it be in the midst of sin and pray and God will answer your prayer. But let's see what the Bible say. We're gonna let bring God it up, and we're gonna let every man be a liar. Right. right, John chapter nine verse thirty one. Read. Read. Now we know uh -huh. that God heareth not sinners. Now we know that. Guess what? You might have been praying, but God said, "Look, and I don't hear I don't hear sinners." That's Read. right. But if any man be a worshiper of God. If any man be a worshiper of God, what he do? And doeth his will. And doeth his will. You got to be doing the will of God. Read. Him, he heareth. So if you're doing God's will, guess what? That's the one, the, the man that's doing God's will, that's the man God going to hear. That's, that's right. right. Don't think you can be in the midst of sin and you pray for that job and got a job. No. And most I said, I, I lie the devil. Give me that Psalm 73 right quick. Bring it out. I'm going to show you that the devil, uh, just because you getting blessed, God ain't behind it. That's right. Give me Psalm 73 and 3. Our people assume that they getting blessed and in the midst of sin that God got something to do with it. God said, no, you're on the, you are, you are on the strong delusion. Yeah, Psalm right. 73 and 3. Psalms chapter 73, verse 3. three. Yeah. Yeah. For I was envious at the foolish uh -huh. when I saw the prosperity. I saw the prosperity or the blessings of what? Of the wicked. So guess what? The wicked can get, they can get, they can get blessed too. Verse 12. That's right. Psalms chapter 73, verse 12. Three. Behold, these are the ungodly. So David said, these are the ungodly. An ungodly man is a man that ain't even keeping no laws. That's right. But what? Who prosper in the world. But they prospered in the world. Dang. These, just joke, these rappers, they first thing they do at the Grammys, I want to give honor to God, but these jokers tatted it up from head to toe on their the videos. They got sisters dancing half naked, right. smoking weed. Bring it right. up. These are the ungodly in the world, but they're right. Read on. They increase in riches. But they increase in riches. How these jokers wicked is on no way, but they increase in the wealth. Because God said they might be weak or might be getting money, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. You know? So it says, God say the one that I bless or the one that I'm gonna hear is the one that's doing his will. That's yes, right. right. You know what the will of God is? My brother, you know what the will of God is? Huh? Oh, okay, I'll praise Bring Give it me Psalms 40 and 8. Psalms chapter praise 40, him. verse 8. This is the will of God. I delight to do thy will. So King David said, I delight to do God's will. What is God's will? Oh my God. Oh my God, read. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. So the will that we're supposed to be doing is God's law that's, that's, that's right. in our mind. Right. right now we're keeping the Sabbath. We I delight in the keeping the uh, in keeping the Sabbath. I delight in seeing my brothers on the Sabbath because I'm in captivity the whole time. So it says I delight to do that will, yea, that law is within my heart. So enough for you to hear from God in your prayers, Harvey. What's your name, bro? Uh, God said enough for y'all prayers to be heard. Guess what? Y'all gotta be keeping the commandments. That's you can't right. be in the midst of sin. We read earlier that we gotta uh, have fringes on. We gotta um we gotta keep the Sabbath day because a lot of people in church on Sunday. A lot of uh, billions of our people in church on Sunday. Are billions of, you uh, you celebrate Easter, bro? All praises. You what about you, sir? Don't you know tomorrow is gonna be billions of our people celebrating a pagan holiday? But they think then they think God is with them, and that the reason we go what we go through is because we don't we don't keep His commandments. Because well, let me ask, what's your nationality, bro? Black man. A black man, right? Uh, but give me Isaiah one and three. Give me Isaiah one and three, right here. Because you say you're a black man, uh, that's a color. You just a colored man. But let's see what God said about his people. His Bible's a book of prophecy. His Bible's a book of prophecy. The Bible prophesied like everything that was going to take place uh, happened to us it, it, either in that time or in the future. So now let's see what God said was going to happen to us. Isaiah, Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Because you and Harvard, y'all the same people. He said he was an African American. You said he was a black man. But y'all the same people, read. The ox knoweth his owner. So now God is about to compare us to two animals. He said, an ox, he knoweth his owner. He know who owns him. If he, uh, ox, uh, his owner can be amongst a bunch of men, but he hears his owner's voice, he know who the ghost goes at. That's my owner. I know his voice, read. And the ass, his master's crib. He said, a jackass, even though it's the dumbest suffering animal, he know how to get back home. He know his homeland. He know where, he know where his homeland is. But what? But Israel. Israel, the people that's on his side, the blacks, his parents, the Native Americans, what? Does not know. They don't know. That's why they're walking around here calling themselves a black man. Why they call themselves African American. God say, my people don't even know that. Right. Here they are. Read. My people does not consider. They don't even stop and take a second to think, you know what, maybe I am God's chosen people. Maybe, wait a minute. Maybe I, I could be the greatest people on the face of the earth. Because God said, you above everybody. That's right. right. In America, right. you talk that way. We're all equal. But we don't get treated equally, but God say, I don't care what the white man say, I say y'all the book. That's right. Go, give me Deuteronomy 76. Bring it up. 
Deuteronomy 7 and 6, I'm gonna, I read this earlier, I'm going to show you that God said we're above everybody. Right. So us being above everybody, we got to walk a certain way, we got to talk a certain way, we got to think a certain way. We can't do what everybody do. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Uh -huh. you know, but thou art an holy people. So God said we're holy people, meaning we're separate from everybody. Read it, read on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God, read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose us, read. To be a special people. To be a special people of what? Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above all people. So did it say we equal to everybody? No, God said we're above all people. That's right. Read. Right. That are upon the face of the earth. So God said, because I chose y'all, give me Amos 3 and 3, 3 and 1. So God said, because I chose y'all to be a special people, and I chose y'all to be above everybody. I gave y'all certain laws, statutes, and commandments to obey. I, now I require, I, I mean, I require something of y'all. This is what I allowed to happen. Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. you know, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. So God said, hear this word that I've spoken against you. When you read this Bible, understand this. The Bible is not talking about all nations. The Bible is only talking to the about the Israelites. That's right, right. It's, it's got it's talking about other nations. I take that back and talk about their demise and their and their captivity they're going in. But That's the right. Bible is written to the Israelites, That's for the right. Israelites and by the Israelites. That's right. So the most I said because what? Hear this you know? word that the Lord has spoken against you. Against us, read the Israelites. O children of Israel. Not everybody, the children of Israel, read. Against the whole family, uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So God said, I brought y'all out of the land of Egypt through Moses, read. Saying. Saying what? You only have I known. God said, I created a whole these nations of people, the Chinese, the Arabs, the uh, West Indians, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Caucasians. God say, out of all the nations of people, I only know y'all. That's, That's right. why I'm dealing with y'all on a whole different level. Read right out of all the families of the earth. Read. Therefore, because, I will. Because of that, what are you going to do? I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquity. Because of that, I'm going to punish y'all for all y'all the sin. That's right. Now, like I asked him, how do we get over here? We're on 28.16. How do we get over here on spaceships, right? Spaceships, yeah. So have you ever thought to yourself, dang, why did that happen to us? You ever had your mother, your grandma, yeah, yeah. grandma, why we went in the slave? What was the, if God is such an awesome God as all these so-called Christian uh, uh, singers be singing about, why did he allow us to go into slavery? Bring it out. Why did he allow us to be put in chains? Why did he allow daughters to be taken from us, our sons to be taken from us? It got to be some kind of explanation behind it. Uh, the church ain't never told me. I'm sure they ain't never right. told you. We're about to find out today. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. So remember the thought. It says, because... I chose y'all, I'm going to punish y'all for all y'all sin. This is one of the punishments. Because just like you got kids, son, if your kids got out of line, guess what? You're going to punish them. This was our punishment. And the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. So God says, guess what? I delivered y'all out of Egypt the first time, but I'm going to send y'all black behinds back into another Egypt. Not the physical land, Egypt, but y'all going to go back into another Egypt, which means that we was, we was uh, slaves in uh, Egypt right in the Bible. When Moses freed us, we was working hard bondage there. So God said, y'all gonna go back to Egypt or another slavery or hard bondage again. But how y'all gonna go back though? With ships. How we get over here? So God say, y'all gonna go into slavery with what, bro? Ships. So guess what? The Bible ain't no fairy tale. The That's Bible right. is a true book. That's, That's right. right. Pastors and these churches just made the Bible seem like a fairy tale, but the Bible is a true book. The Bible right. prophesied what's gonna happen to the black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. So it says y'all gonna go back into slavery again, but this time, you know what? Cause y'all Negroes so wicked, y'all gonna go into slave on slave ship. Right. And guess what? The white man set up monuments right here in Savannah, so y'all can see that thing and remember. Yep, right. we did that. We, right. Yeah, we did it. Now do something about it. Dang. Read on. By the way, whereof. I spake unto so thee. So God said, Moses, tell my people the way I'm telling you what's going to happen. Guess what? That's how it's going to go down, Harvey. Read on. Right. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see your home there no more again. That's the reason why we've been in America to, uh, for uh, about six, four hundred, five hundred years. God said, you ain't going to see your homeland again as a nation of people because Harvey, what's the motherland? That's what they say, right? We're going to let God be true and every man alive. The white man said, Africa is the motherland. Yes. Our land is in Africa, in Northeast Africa, but let's see what our, what our, what's the, let's see what the name of our homeland is. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Well, it's a call, Harvey. But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem, read. Which is above is free. Which is what? Which is the mother of us all. So what's the motherland according to the Bible that we come from? What did it just say, Harvey? What did he say? Read it again. 
Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Uh huh. But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Read. Which is above is free. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read on. Which is the mother. Which is the mother. Not Africa, but Jerusalem, which is the mother of what? Of us all. That's Paul, was, right. Paul was speaking to the Israelites in Galatia, letting them know Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's right. Read on. So it said Jerusalem, which is the motherland. That's the motherland. Jerusalem is in Africa, but guess what? They took our land from us in 1948 when we went into, we went into slavery in 1619. So now we're over here. Now we think of Jerusalem or Israel, we think of the so-called white men or the so-called Israelis, but we are the real Israelites. That's, that's right, right, that's right. right. That's the reason why I read earlier Isaiah 1 and 3, it says the ox know of its owner, the ass is master crib, but the Israelites, they don't know. Neither do they consider. Why? Because we've been destroyed as a nation of people. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So God say the same way it's going to happen, y'all. That's uh, the same one telling Moses it's going to go down. That's how it's going to go down. That's Read. Right. Thou shall see it no more again. We ain't going to see our homeland no more again as a nation of people. Read. And there. And there. Harvey, when your foremother got that slave ship, there my brother and your grandma and them got them slave ships, what's going to happen? Say with me, bro. Read on. And there. And there, read. Ye shall be sold. Ye shall be sold. Unto your enemy. Until your enemy. Who is our enemy? We hate to admit it. But who did this to us? We just speak the truth. God said, the man that sold you, guess what? He your enemy. I don't care if you got That's a right. I don't care if you I don't care if you work net right next to him. God said he people your enemy. That's right. Always right. been and always will be your enemy. Right. No matter what they what gifts they give you. So right. we know that from looking at the images, from looking at the monuments, guess what? They the ones that did this to us. That's right. right. Bible is a true book. This Bible is a history book. Read. That's right. For bond men. For slave men. They sold us for slave men to read. And bond women. And slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. No man ain't gonna be able to save you out of this condition you're in. Martin Luther King, a great man, he tried, but they assassinated him. Marcus Garvey, um, you got Malcolm X, all these brothers rose up trying to do a good work to get us out of the oppression that we're in, but guess what? Now, we, uh, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they put him to death. So the most, the, the only one that's gonna be able to redeem us out of the condition that we're in is Christ, the yes, black Messiah. Wow. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.